but we're nowhere near close to general AI, not in our lifetimes. You don't have to worry about it. The reason why I don't think AI is coming anytime soon is because a lot of the advances in so-called AI today are what we call narrow AI. They're really in pattern recognition, machine learning to figure out like what is that object on the screen or how do you find this signal and all of that noise. There is nothing approaching what we call creative thinking. Uh, to actually model general intelligence, you run into all kinds of problems. First, we don't know how the brain works at all. Number two, we've never even modeled a paramecium or an amoeba, let alone a human brain. Number three, there's this assumption that all of the uh, computation is going at the cellular level, at the neuron level, whereas nature is very parsimonious. It uses everything at its disposal. There's a lot of machinery inside the cell that is doing calculations that is intelligent, that isn't accounted for. And the best estimates are it would take 50 years of Moore's law before we can simulate what's going on inside a cell near perfectly, and probably 100 years before we can build a brain that can simulate inside the cells. So putting it at saying that I'm just going to model a neuron as on or off and then use that to build a human brain is overly simplistic. Furthermore, I would posit there's no such thing as general intelligence. Every intelligence is contextual within the context of the environment that it's in. So you have to evolve an environment around it. So I think a lot of people who are peddling general AI, the burden of proof is on them. I haven't seen anything that would lead me to indicate we're approaching general AI. Instead, we're solving deterministic, closed set, finite problems using large amounts of data. But it's not sexy to talk about that. So most of the AI approaches basically say we're going to try and model how the brain works, but mm -hmm. they model at the neuron level, which is saying this neuron's on, that neuron's off, right. they're combining their signal. But I'm saying in, the neuron is a cell. Inside the cell, there's all this machinery going on that's operating the neuron that is also part of the intelligence apparatus. You can't just ignore that and abstract that out. You that's have to model it down to the in, inside the cell level. So we've got this three pound wetware object mm -hmm. that can hold all this data. Nature has been very efficient in evolving kind of how we get there. I, I just don't think computers are anywhere close to that. Like they can hold that amount of data with that complexity, with like the holographic structure of the brain where it can recall in many, many different ways. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I don't think you can evolve a creature to be intelligent outside of the boundaries of, of feedback in a real medium. Like if you evolved, if you raised a human being in a concrete cell with no input from the outside, they wouldn't have any feedback from the real world. They wouldn't right. evolve properly. So I think just dumping information into, into a thing isn't enough. It has to have an environment to operate in, to get feedback from. It needs to have context. Like if, if we yeah. can take a computer that can beat someone at chess, the, the real question was, well, can we make some sort of an artificial intelligence that can beat someone at Go, which is far more complex yeah. than chess? They figured out how to do that too. And that was a giant shock. Right? The These are still man-made, very closed, bounded games. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, not, they're not on the road to the unbounded game of life. They are completely artificial. Being good at Go doesn't mean that you can then suddenly figure out how to write great poetry. Right. The uh, creativity, for sure, is something that's so great. Creativity is the last frontier. So I mm. do believe that automation over a long enough period of time will replace every non-creative job. Mm. or every non-creative work. But that's great news. That means that all of our basic needs are taken care of, and what remains for us is to be creative, which is really what every human wants. Mm.